I cannot think of any other Hermes item that has a cult following like this. Hi guys, my name is GPS and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be chatting about one of the most popular Hermes collectibles out there, which is the Rodeo Back Charms. I do already have a video on my Hermes Rodeo collection where I showcase pretty much every single one of the rodeos that I have. But I do still get questions about the sizing of the different rodeos as well as how I wear them. So today I thought that we would take a deep dive into sizing, pricing, as well as styling. So if you want to find out how I style my rodeo collection, then please keep on watching. Hermes makes a variety of back charms, but the most popular ones, without a doubt, are the Hermes rodeos. If you have never seen a rodeo back charm before, yes, these are indeed created by Hermes. And they are these horse-shaped charms, which are obviously inspired by the equestrian heritage of the brand, which is something that they're very proud of, and they use it as an inspiration to this day. And while these might seem like kind of an old-school design, something that's been around since the inception of the brand, that's actually not the case. These were only introduced in 2005. However, in my personal opinion, they have only just started taking on a life of their own in the past few years, because in the past few years, I think they have sort of built this almost cult-like following. There is a group of Hermes collectors out there who absolutely haunt these, and no matter what colors or colorways they come out with, they want to get them without asking any questions. Personally, I don't really belong to that group. While I do like designs, I tend to go for the solid color ones, which are a little bit more rare, because most of the rodeos that you'll see out there are tricolor, meaning that the body of the horse, the saddle, and the mane are three different colors. And I think I mentioned this in my previous Hermes Rodeo video, that I personally find them to be a little bit childish sometimes. I tend to go for the solid color ones. I just find that they're a little bit more grown up and they don't look like a kid's toy. But that's the standard version that you'll most often see out there. And in case you're interested in what my collection consists of, make sure you check out my Rodeo video, which I think is still pretty much up to date. I don't think I have added, no, I have actually added one more piece to my collection. I bought a pink, a Rose Azalea Rodeo in size PM, which I also showed in a whole video, so I'll make sure to also link that down below. And that should give you a good idea in terms of what kind of rodeos I collect. But today we're here to talk about styling and how to use these rodeos, not my personal collection. So let's jump into it. Let's start with the smallest size of rodeos, which is size PM. If you are a lover of mini bags, then look no further. This is the right horse for you, because this is the tiniest, cutest little thing that you will ever find from Hermes. I find that they go beautifully with bags like the mini Kelly, the Kelly pochette, but you can put them even on a Birkin 25 or a Kelly 25. I think they look adorable on those bags. They can look a little bit too small and they can kind of get lost on larger bags. And it can look a little out of proportion. It almost looks like you just put a keychain or a kid's toy onto your bag. So I think proportions wise, these look adorable on, as I mentioned, the mini Kelly, maybe a Picatinny 18, a smaller Herb bag or a Birkin or a Kelly 25, or a smaller bag from any other brand out there. They are really, really, really cute. And sometimes I even put these on like a little pouch bag. If you own the Bizarre pouch from Hermes, they look really adorable on that. And sometimes I even put these on my Kelly wallet in case I want to take them a step further and I want to really take them out as a bag. These also look really cute on the Kelly wallet. So this is the perfect piece to have if you tend to go for smaller bags. And obviously they are available in different colors and colorways each season. You'll see that I'm mainly using my Soul Black Rodeos in this video because that's the only colorway I have in every single size. So I think that's going to be the most accurate representation of the different sizes. In terms of pricing, the smallest size, which is PM, is going to be most affordable from the boutique. However, you might find that if you go to the resale market, similar to bags, smaller rodeos are going to be a little bit more expensive. But if you're going to pick up a PM Rodeo from the boutique, it's going to set you back $455 plus tax in the US. 
And it doesn't matter what color you get them in, if you get it in a solid color or if you get it in the tricolor version, it's going to be the same price. It really doesn't matter as long as you get it from the boutique because they're all made of the same unbelievably soft lambskin, which is the same leather that they use to make gloves. Let's move on to the next size, which is MM. This, in my opinion, is the most flexible size out of everything that I'll show you today because this is one that goes with really anything and everything. You can put this on smaller bags, on larger bags. It's never really going to look out of place. I personally love this on my Ruli. I also like this on a Kelly 35, which I find is actually quite a hard bag to accessorize. I don't find that the smallest version of the Rodeo, which is PM, or even the largest version looks really good on a Kelly. But I find that the MM version is the perfect accessory for a medium-sized Kelly, but it also looks great on smaller and larger Kellys. So if you're going to pick up one Rodeo, which by the way, I think is all you need, or you want to start off a Rodeo collection, then I think MM size is your best bet, unless you have a collection full of mini bags, because this is the one that I would say goes perfectly with everything. And while you might find that the PM size gets lost on some bags, the MM size is really the perfect way to accessorize any bag in your collection. Let's quickly touch on the pricing of the MM size Rodeos. Again, it doesn't matter what color you get them in, they're always going to be the same price. And a Rodeo in size MM is going to set you back $540 if you manage to get it from the boutique. So it's just under $100 more expensive than a Rodeo in the smallest size. And last but not least, let's talk about the largest size of Rodeos, which is size GM. And I can only imagine what you're thinking if this is your first time seeing a Rodeo in size GM. These always reminded me of almost like a little toy that you would hang above a toddler's crib, especially because of the strap that it has here. But hear me out. I actually have a funny story behind this because I would have never considered picking up a Rodeo in size GM if it wasn't for the Soul Black Edition, because especially in the tri-color way, I think it can come off really childish and it really looks like a toy. But the reason why I ended up picking this up is because when the new store opened up in New York in the meatpacking district, I got word that they had a couple of Soul Black Rodeos in stock. And this was back in the day when they were only just starting to come back in production. And I ended up going to the store within the first few days of its opening. And I obviously asked them if they had any Soul Black Rodeos available in stock. And no surprise, by the time I got there, they had all been sold. But the essay that was helping me was lovely. So I asked her if she could let me know if a Soul Black Rodeo becomes available in her store. And obviously I didn't pick up anything else. I had my home store that I'm extremely loyal to. So I basically just left, not thinking much about it. She looked at my profile and took a note that I would be interested in a Soul Black Rodeo. And I think a couple of weeks had gone by. I completely forgot about it. But one day I just got a call saying that she has a Soul Black Rodeo for me that's on hold. And if I'm still interested, I can swing by to pick it up. We, I think within a couple of hours, went there to look at it. And this was the Rodeo that was waiting there for me. And I personally would have never considered buying a GM Rodeo. But when I saw it in person, I thought that maybe I could do something with it. And thank God I bought it because this has become one of my most used Rodeos in my collection. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of the Birkin 35. I pretty much only wear my Birkin 35s nowadays. And this looks absolutely incredible on a larger bag, especially on a Birkin 35. However, the styling tip that I would have with the GM Rodeo as well as the PM is that if you're going to put this on a bag, what I would recommend that you do is that you put it on the back of the bag. So as I'm sure you're obviously familiar with the Birkin by now, especially if you're watching my channel, the front of the Birkin is quite, I wouldn't say busy, but there's a lot going on on the front of the Birkin. You have the twist closure, you have all the hardware on the front, you have the handle. So it can be a little bit overwhelming, in my opinion, if you put a rodeo on the front of the bag. So the way I like to wear them is I like to put them on the back of the bag, especially when it comes to a Birkin. And I still find that the bag looks extremely luxurious, even though you're not showing any branding. And if you add this rodeo as a touch, it's just going to make such a big difference. So if you own a Birkin, but you are not sure whether you want to add a rodeo to your collection, which I completely understand, I think sometimes these rodeos can take away from the elevated design then I would highly suggest that you try to put a rodeo on the back of your bag in case you want to make it a little bit more fun or kind of switch up your collection. 
because I think it's such a simple styling tip, but it makes the biggest difference. I find that it makes the bag look a little bit more playful and I have been really loving wearing my rodeos on the back of my bags instead of the front. At the end of the day, these are lovely accessories to add a pop of color or perhaps a more personalized touch to any bag that you own. But if you're just jumpstarting your luxury journey, do you really need these? No. Do you ever need these? No. But if you appreciate a touch of playfulness, then you can throw this on any designer or non-designer bag that you own. And this is it guys, this completes my video on the Hermes Rodeos. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you own a rodeo or if you would consider picking one up. And if you enjoy this, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.